Pierre Félix Guattari, French, Watai listen, April 30, 1932 August 29, 1992, was a French psychotherapist, philosopher, semiologist, and activist. He founded both Schizoanalysis and Ecosophy, and is best known for his intellectual collaborations with Giles Deleuze, most notably Anti Oedipus 1972 and A Thousand Plateaus 1980, the two volumes of Capitalism and Schizophrenia. Topic biography Topic Clinic of Laborde Guattari was born in villeneuve les sablins a working-class suburb of northwest Paris, France. He trained under and was analyzed by the psychoanalyst Jacques Lacan in the early 1950s. Subsequently, he worked all his life at the experimental psychiatric clinic of Laborde under the direction of Lacan's pupil, the psychiatrist Jean Ory. La Borde was a venue for conversation among many students of philosophy, psychology, ethnology, and social work. One particularly novel orientation developed at La Borde consisted of the suspension of the classical analyst analyzan pair in favor of an open confrontation in group therapy. In contrast to the Freudian school's individualistic style of analysis, this practice studied the dynamics of several subjects in complex interaction. It led Guattari into a broader philosophical exploration of, and political engagement with, a vast array of intellectual and cultural domains philosophy, ethnology, linguistics, architecture, etc. 1960s to 1970s From 1955 to 1965, Guattari edited and contributed to La Voix Communiste Communist Way, a Trotskyist newspaper. He supported anti-colonialist struggles as well as the Italian autonomists. Guattari also took part in the GTPSI, which gathered many psychiatrists at the beginning of the 60s and created the Association of Institutional Psychotherapy in November 1965. It was at the same time that he founded, along with other militants, the FGERI Federation of Groups for Institutional Study and Research and its review Recherche Research, working on philosophy, mathematics, psychoanalysis, education, architecture, ethnology, etc. The FGERI came to represent aspects of the multiple political and cultural engagements of Guattari, the Group for Young Hispanics, the Franco-Chinese Friendships in the Times of the People's Communes, the opposition activities with the wars in Algeria and Vietnam, the participation in the MNEF, with the UNEF, the policy of the Offices of Psychological Academic Aid BAPU, the organization of the University Working Groups GTU, but also the reorganizations of the training courses with the Center of training to the methods of education activities CEMEA for psychiatric male nurses, as well as the formation of friendly male nurses in 1958, the studies on architecture and the projects of construction of a day hospital for students and young workers. In 1967, he appeared as one of the founders of OSARLA Organization of Solidarity and Aid to the Latin American Revolution. In 1968, Guattari met Daniel Cohn-Bendit, Jean-Jacques Label, and Julian Beck. He was involved in the large-scale French protests of 1968, starting from the movement of March 22. It was in the aftermath of 1968 that Guattari met Giles Deleuze at the University of Vincennes and began to lay the groundwork for the soon-to-be infamous Anti-Oedipus which Michel Foucault described as an introduction to the non-fascist life in his preface to the book. In 1970, he created Center for the Study and Research of Institutional Formation, which developed the approach explored in the Recherches Journal. In 1973, Guattari was tried and fined for committing an outrage to public decency for publishing an issue of Recherches on homosexuality. In 1977, he created the CINEL for New Spaces of Freedom, before joining in the 1980s the ecological movement with his Ecosophy. 1980s to 1990s In his last book, Chaosmosis Guattari returned to the question of subjectivity. How to produce it, collect it, enrich it, reinvent it permanently in order to make it compatible with mutant universes of value. This concern runs through all of his works, from Psychoanalysis and Transversality a collection of articles from 1957 to 1972, through Years of Winter 1980 to 1986 and Schizoanalytic Cartographies 1989, to his collaboration with Deleuze, What is Philosophy? 1991. 
In Chaosmosis, Guattari proposes an analysis of subjectivity in terms of four dimensions, one material, energetic, and semiotic fluxes, two concrete and abstract machinic phyla, three virtual universes of value, and four finite existential territories. This scheme attempts to grasp the heterogeneity of components involved in the production of subjectivity, as Guattari understands it, which include both signifying semiotic components as well as a signifying semiological dimensions, which work in parallel or independently of any signifying function that they may have. On 29 August 1992, two weeks after an interview for Greek television, curated by Georgos Veltsos, Guattari died in Labord from a heart attack. Some three years later, on 4 November 1995, his friend and research partner Giles Deleuze, chronically suffering from respiratory ailments and incapable of simple tasks such as writing, would commit suicide. In 1995, the posthumous release of Guattari's Chaosophy published essays and interviews concerning Guattari's work as director of the experimental Laborde Clinic and his collaborations with Deleuze. The collection includes essays such as, Balance Sheet Program for Desiring Machines. Co-signed by Deleuze with whom he co-authored Anti-Oedipus and A Thousand Plateaus, and Everybody Wants to Be a Fascist. It provides an introduction to Guattari's theories on schizoanalysis, a process that develops Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis but which pursues a more experimental and collective approach towards analysis. In 1996, another collection of Guattari's essays, lectures, and interviews, Soft Subversions, was published, which traces the development of his thought and activity throughout the 1980s, the winter years. His analyses of art, cinema, youth culture, economics, and power formations, develop concepts such as micropolitics, schizoanalysis, and becoming woman, which aim to liberate subjectivity and open up new horizons for political and creative resistance to the standardizing and homogenizing processes of global capitalism, which he calls integrated world capitalism in the postmedia era. Topic works Topic works translated into English Molecular Revolution, Psychiatry and Politics, 1984. Selected Essays from Psychanalyse et Transversalité 1972 and La Révolution Moléculaire 1977. The Machinic Unconscious 1979 Schizoanalytic Cartographies 1989. The Three Ecologies 1989. Translated into English 2000. Chaosmosis, An Ethico-Aesthetic Paradigm 1992. Psychoanalysis and Transversality 2015. Collected essays and interviews from 1955 to 1971. Chaosophy 1995. Collected essays and interviews from 1972 to 1977. Soft Subversions 1996. Collected essays and interviews from 1977 to 1985. The Guattari Reader 1996. Collected essays and interviews. The Anti-Oedipus Papers 2004. Collection of texts written between 1969 and 1972. Machinic Eros, Writings on Japan, 2015. In collaboration with Giles Deleuze, Anti-Oedipus, 1972. Kafka, Towards a Minor Literature, 1975. A Thousand Plateaus, 1980. On the Line, 1983. Contains translation of Rhizome, 1976. Nomadology, The War Machine, 1986. Translation of Chapter 12 of A Thousand Plateaus. What is Philosophy? 1991. Capitalism, A Very Special Delirium. 1995. Other Collaborations, Communists Like Us. 1985. With Antonio Negri. Republished under a different title as New Lines of Alliance, New Spaces of Liberty. 2010. Molecular Revolution in Brazil. 1986. With Suli Rolnik. The Party Without Bosses. 2003. By Gary Ginosko. Features a 1982 conversation between Guattari and Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, the former president of Brazil. Topic untranslated works Note, many of the essays found in these works have been individually translated and can be found in the English collections. La Révolution Moléculaire 1977, 1980. The 1980 version editions 10 contains substantially different essays from the 1977 version. Les Années de Hiver, 1980-1985 Un amour d'Ique. Scenario pour un film qui manque, edited and with a visual essay by Graham Thompson and Sylvia Maglioni Paris, Editions Amsterdam, 2012. 
The edition contains various screenplays and a selection of unpublished archives, other collaborations, L'Intervention Institutionnelle, Paris, Petite Bibliothèque Payot, N. 382-1980. On Institutional Pedagogy. With Jacques Ardoino, G. Lapassade, Gerard Mendel, René Lourau. Pratique de l'Institutionnelle et Politique. 1985. With Jean Ori and Francois Toscels. Dissiderio e Rivoluzioni. Intervista a cura di Paolo Bertetto, Milan, Squilibri, 1977. Conversation with Franco Berardi Bifo and Paolo Bertetto. Topic. See also Deleuze and Guattari History of Capitalism Becoming Topic. References Topic. Sources Topic. Primary sources Deleuze, Giles and Felix Guattari, 1972. Anti-Oedipus. Trans. Robert Hurley, Mark Seam and Helen R. Lane. London and New York, Continuum, 2004. Volume 1 of Capitalism and Schizophrenia, 2 vols. 1972-1980. Trans, of Lanti Oedipi. Paris, Les Editions de Minuit. ISBN 0-8264-7695-3. 1975. Kafka, Towards a Minor Literature. Trans. Dana Poland. Theory and History of Literature 30. Minneapolis and London, U of Minnesota p. 1986. Trans, of Kafka, Pour une Literature Minor. Paris, Les Editions de Minuit. ISBN 0-8166-1515-2. 1980. A Thousand Plateaus. Trans. Brian Masumi. London and New York, Continuum, 2004. Volume 2 of Capitalism and Schizophrenia, 2 vols. 1972-1980. Trans. Of Mill Plateau. Paris, Les Editions de Minuit. ISBN 0-8264-7694-5. 1991. What is Philosophy? Trans. Graham Birchall and Hugh Tomlinson. London and New York, Verso, 1994. Trans, of Kest C.E.K. La Philosophy? Paris, Les Editions de Minuit. ISBN 0-86091-686-3. Guattari, Felix, 1979. The Machinic Unconscious, Essays in Schizoanalysis. Trans. Taylor Adkins. Los Angeles, California, Semiotext, e. 2011. Trans, of L'Inconscient Machinique, Essays de Schizoanalyse. Paris, Recherches. ISBN 2-8622-201-08. 1984. Molecular Revolution, Psychiatry and Politics. Trans. Rosemary Sheed. Harmonsworth, Penguin. ISBN 0-14-055160-3. 1989A. Schizoanalytic Cartographies. Trans Andrew Goffey. London and New York, Bloomsbury, 2013. Trans, of Cartographies Schizoanalytiques. Paris, Editions Galilee ISBN 978-2718603490-1989B. The Three Ecologies. Trans. Ian Pindar and Paul Sutton. London and New York, Continuum, 2000. Trans, of Les Trois Ecologies. Paris, Editions Galilee. ISBN 1-84706-305-5. 1992. Chaosmosis, An Ethico-Aesthetic Paradigm. Trans. Paul Baines and Julian Pafanis. Bloomington and Indianapolis, Indiana Up, 1995. Trans, of Chaosmos, Paris, Editions Galilee. ISBN 0-909952-25-6. 1995. Chaosophy Texts and Interviews 1972-1977. Ed. Silver Lotringer. Semiotext e. Foreign Agents Esser. New York, Semiotext e. ISBN 1-57027-019-8. 1996. Soft Subversions Texts and Interviews 1977-1985. Ed. Silver Lotringer. Trans. David L. Sweet and Chet Wiener. Semiotext e. Foreign Agents Esser. New York, Semiotext e. ISBN 1-57027-030-9. 
1996. The Guattari Reader. Ed. Gary Ginosko. Blackwell Readers Esser. Oxford and Cambridge, Massachusetts, Blackwell. ISBN 0-631-19708-7. 2006. The Anti-Oedipus Papers. Ed. Stefan Nadod. Trans. Kalina Gottman. New York, Semiotext E. ISBN 1-58435-031-8. Guattari, Felix and Tony Negri, 1985. Communists Like Us, New Spaces of Liberty, New Lines of Alliance. Trans. Michael Ryan. Semiotext E. Foreign Agents Esser. New York, Semiotext E. 1990. Trans. Of Nouvelles Espaces de Liberté. Paris, Bedin. ISBN 0-936756-21-7. Guattari, Felix, and Sully Rolnick, 1986. Molecular Revolution in Brazil. New York, Semiotext e, 2008. Trans, of Micropolitica, Cartographias do Desejo. ISBN 1-58435-051-2. External links Fractal Ontology with unpublished, English translations of Guattari and others Chimere's site on Guattari in French. Desire Was Everywhere by Adam Schatz, London Review of Books, Vol. 32 No. 24 16 December 2010